Hello everyone, this is Calvin Castine. We're at South Acres Field in Plattsburgh. We're here tonight to find out a little bit about both of these clubs. Bark Holmes TV and KNL. This is game number four in a best of five semi-final round in the gentlemen's slow pitch league. KNL leads in this series two games to nothing. It took the first game by seven to three. The last game, second game, 21-7. Last night, Bark Holmes came back with a five to three victory. I was not surprised to see Bark Holmes win last night. They were loose, they had nothing to lose. So they were very loose up there. This is Dennis Phelps to lead off, pitch from Joey Trombley. However, tonight, they feel they're back in the series. Last night, they thought they were out of it. As I said, they had nothing to lose, and they ended up winning the ball game. KNL, having won the first two, the second one so easily, was a little lax. We're going to find out tonight a little bit about both of these clubs. We're going to find out if they can bounce back. Phillips flies to Barcom. Batter now, shortstop, Randy Davison. The winner of this series will play the win. Rigsby's auction. They won their five-game semifinals against the Press in three straight. Taking a 6-5 win home last night. At the third, Jerry Davison, the first, two down. Garen is going to appeal here. No glowed. Bill Glowd asked uh, Garen to appeal. He stretched and dropped the ball, kind of just barely hanging on the edge of his glove. Did not have control of it. So Garen checked with umpire Mike Collier behind the plate, and Collier said he was safe. So a break there for KNL. Batter now Jim Davison. Strike one. I'd say there's more pressure on K&L tonight than there is on Barcombs. Hit deep. Jim Barcomb back, he'll bounce off the fence. Randy Davison will be held up at third. Dale Cardin of the batter, runners at second and third. One out. Foul ball. Over the fence, but foul. As I was saying, I think KNL has more to prove tonight. They came in here, the favorites, the heavy favorites. They've got to prove they can bounce back after taking a loss. If they win this series, they will play Rigsby's. Popped, foul, on a bike. Whoa, almost hit that biker. Wow. That biker almost got a ball in the side of the head. And he had no idea it was coming. It would have really... Woke him up. Might have, uh, might have caused an accident had that ball hit him. Cardinal's got two strikes on him. He's going to have to keep it between the lines. As I was saying, KNL has to bounce back. They have to prove they can bounce back. If they win this series, they would play Rigsby's. They've 
played Rigsby three times this season and won them all. And they're not expected to sweep three more in the playoffs from the finals. So they're going to have to, assuming they get there, prove they can come back. There's a base hit. That'll score a couple of Davisons. Jim chases Randy home. And Dale Cardan with two RBIs here in the first inning, one out. Batter now, Randy LaBombard. He thinks he's playing for the Bullmart, I guess. He's got his Bullmart shirt on. That was last year's team. On the ground. The second, the first double play. They turn two. Oh, turn two. That's going to pick up Barcombs a little bit. Go to the bottom half of the first inning with the score. KNL two, Barcombs nothing. Autograph seeker. Dale Oxby, the shortstop, will lead things off here for Barcombs. Pitch from Gary Decost. Strike one. Decost pitching behind the plate, Bill Glode. Infield as usual. Gary Bowers at first, Randy Lombard at second. Randy Davison at short. Dale Cardin at third. Gets it to Davison, the first. Safe. Oxby beat it out. It was a close play, another one to take a look at in slow motion. Little lead runner on for Barcombs. And Jerry Davison, the batter. It's a base hit. Jim Hood will pick it up. And we'll have runners at first and second. In the outfield, we have Jim Wood in right, Jim Davis in right center, Dale, excuse me, Dan Trombley in left center, and Dennis Phillips in left field. And either Larry Bellrose or Pete McMillan will be the extra player tonight. Batter now, Bill Bashor. Foul. Strike one. Davison calling. There'll be no advance on that. One out. Now Bill Bayshore eliminated and Dennis Denny Laporte, the batter, is Papa Merrill here among the spectators. Ball one to Laporte. Dikas got to pitch him carefully. On swing, he could put his club ahead. Hit the short, nice play by Davidson to Lombard. Lombard knew he didn't have anything at first, so he kept an eye on Hawksby. Casey rounded third. A nice play by Davison going in back of second, tossing it to LeBombard. We have two outs. Runners at the corners. And left center fielder Randy Barcombe, the batter. Pitch. Strike one. Deep ball. One and one to count. Two outs. KNL leading back homes two nothing. Too much art. Two and one. On the ground to Cardin. Goes to second. You get the force. 
Oh, back home threatens, but they get nothing across. And after one full inning, it's KNL two, Barcombe's nothing. Gary Boris will lead off the second inning. Go, Bull Man! Come on, Bull Man! Liner back to Joey Trombley. As I said, I was not surprised to see Barcombe's win last night. And I'm probably going to make a lot of Barcombe's players and fans upset, but. Especially since I don't know the outcome of the game, but I would be surprised if KNL does not come away with a 10 run win tonight. I'd be even more surprised if we had a game five. Foul ball. Strike one to Jim Wood. count and a payoff pitch swung on lofted Barcom drifting under it Randy Barcom pulls it down and we have two down the extra player tonight Larry Bellrose steps in two outs nobody on top of the second inning Base hit. Oh, two out single for Bellrose. And Danny Trombley, the left center fielder, steps in. Flies out to Jim Barcombe, nothing across for K and L. In the second inning, we go to the bottom of the second with the score K and L two. Barcombe's nothing. First baseman Disco Dan Yankee looks at strike one. Up the middle, there's a base hit. So for the second time in as many innings, Bark Holmes has their lead batter on. The batter now will be left fielder Jim Barcombe with Joey Trombley moving on deck. Strike one. As a base hit, or back to back singles. And Barcombe's threatening to put a couple across here in the second inning. I thought Joey Trombley was on deck, but apparently it was Tim Gowett. So Tim Gowett steps in now, and now Joey Trombley is on deck. Nobody out. Runners at first and second. Tying run at first. Strike. Ball. Ball. 21. Two and one to count. 
Base hit. Jim Wood will scoop it up. Everybody will hold. So the base is loaded as Gowett singles. Three straight singles from Barcombs. As I said, both teams have something to prove. And if Barcombs TV takes this win, it'll have proven a lot to me. This is Joey Trombley. Bases loaded, nobody out. Ball one outside. On deck, second baseman Todd Underwood. Ball. 2 0. -oh. Odikos has to give him something to hit. There's one, strike one. Strike two hits the front of the plate. Two two the count. And a two two pitch. Swung on. Trombley will grab. And Trombley throws it in. There's no advance. Well, Joey Trombley hoping to at least get enough on it to score a run. Comes back with his head down. He should come back cheering on the next batter. Todd Underwood, the batter, and Tracy Boris on deck. Ball. Ball. Call your cleaning the plate. Base is loaded, one out. Two nothing to score, bottom of the second. Barcombe's trailing. Foul. Foul ball. Let's take two on Underwood. Count is full. Well, Underwood have to keep it between the lines now. That's a fair ball. Phillips will grab. It should score a run. Here's a throw to third. Barco moves up. Ricky scores. Yeah, right on second. So it's two outs, two to one to score. Bottom of the second. Tracy Boris the batter, runners at second and third. Strike one to Boris. Top of the order to follow, so I imagine Dikos is going to go right after Boris here. Jim Davison will squeeze it. So Barcombe picks up one. And the bases loaded and nobody out, and it came up with only one. We go now to the third inning with the score. KNL two, Barcombe one. Defensively, we have a crucial inning here for Barcombs. They're just coming off an inning which they loaded the bases with nobody out and scored only one run. That's got to get their spirits down a little bit. And now they got to keep KNL from getting a few runs this inning to keep their spirits from going too far. Gary Dikos flies to Jim Barcomb. One down. And Bell Glow the batter now with Dennis Phillips on deck. Oh, 
Pitch from Trombley. Strike. Two down. We're at the top of the order now. I'm sure that KNL not only wants to win this game, but win it big. Because they're playing not only Barcombs, they are playing Rigsby's. And they want to send a message to the people on that Rigsby's team. Liner back to Trombley. So a big inning there for Barcombs. They got KNL 1 2 3. So that'll erase the the trauma of their last half inning. And they've got the top of their order coming up now as we go to the bottom of the third. Barcombe still very much in the ball game. They trail 2-1 after two and a half. Dale Hawksby, shortstop will lead off the third inning. Outside, ball one. Dan Trombley pulls it down. And we have one down. Third baseman, Jerry Davison. Nice and easy up there, guys. Swing the bat. Drops in front of Trombley, kicks it. And the potential tying run at second base for Barcombs. We won out, and number three and four batters do up Bill Bashore and Denny Laporte. Strike one. Liner to Gary Boris. Line shot up, Bayshore's bat. But Boris made a beautiful diving grab. Well, two outs. And Denny Laporte, the batter. A base hit would tie the game. Ball one. One for the fences. Trombley back, and Jim Davison pulls it down. Laporte gave it a ride, but it stayed in the park. And after three full, KNL continues to lead by that narrow two to one margin. Randy Davison will be the batter to lead off the fourth inning. Let's see, I don't think we've gone around the Barcombs defense. We have Joey Trombley pitching, Tracy Bowers behind the plate, Dan Yakey at first, Todd Underwood at second, Dale Hawksby at short, Jerry Davison at third, Jim Barcombe left, Randy Barcombe in right center. Tim Gowett in right field, pulls that one down, and Denny Laporte in right center. Oh, Randy Davison is down. One out. And it brings up Jim Davison. Strike one. Ball one. Ball two. Three and one. 
Hey, I'm driving him around now. Let's go. Ball four, so he puts Davison on. And about an Aldale Cardin. Jim Davison at first, he's a, a power hitter who does whatever is necessary to get on. He goes for the base hit, he takes the walk. Doesn't always look for the fences. Cardan's going to pop it up. Demi Laporte, pull it down. We have two down. And Randy LaBombard, the batter. Strike one. Strike two. Well, two quick strikes on Le Bombard. He's going to have to keep it between the lines. Ball, too much art. Off Trombley's glove. And thrown away. Should have hung on to that one. Runners at the corners. Well, the Lombard reaches. That's a base hit, we'll call it. And Gary Boris, the batter. Chopper to short. Thrown away. The Lombard out at the plate. Throw from Yeki to Boris. K now picks up a run. Barcom staying in this game. We go now to the bottom of the fourth with the score K and L three. Barcom's one. Left center fielder Randy Barcom. And I'll lead things off here in the Bottom of the fourth, team trailing by two. Mark Holmes TV very much in this ball game. Popped up. Jim Wood takes it in right field. We have one down. First baseman, Dan Yakey, the batter. Strike one. Dan Trombley. Almost had to stay your foot, almost uh, right in his tracks. Took a couple feet ahead. Pull it down for out number two. About an now, Jim Barcom. A base hit. Two out single for Jim Barcom. And the batter Tim Gowett, the right fielder. Also a member of the championship Ubald Sunoco team in the Lake Champlain League. Strike one. Strike 
Strike two. No balls, two strikes. DeCoss in the driver's seat. Wood should have it. He'll pull it down. Nothing across for Barcombs after four full innings. We still got a ball game going here. It's KNL three, Barcombs one. Tim Wood will lead off here in the fifth inning. A low scoring ball game at the moment. Pitch from Trombley. Line shot. Foul ball. Foul ball. Strike one on Wood. And a pitch from Trombley. Deep. Ball one. One and one. Two and one. Three and one. Buckholm pulls it down. One out. Mad Dog keeps telling his team to hit it on the line, get the ball down. This is the extra player, Larry Bellrose. And a pitch from Trombley, too much arc. Ball one. Ball two. Strike. Lined right back at Joey Trombley. Looks pleased with himself. Two outs. Caught a bullet. Batter now, Dan Trombley, the left center fielder. Pitch from Joey Trombley. Back of the mat, strike one. Gary DeCost on deck. Strike two in the, in the crowd over there. No balls, two strikes, and the pitch from Trombley. Ball, one and two. On the ground, Jerry Davison will scoop, fire the first, nothing across for KNL. Oh, Barcombs continuing to stay in this ball game. After four and a half, we go to the fifth and bottom of the fifth. But the score, KNL 3, Barcombs 1. Barcombs has been in this league for two years, and they've been to the semifinals both times. KNL was in the finals last year against Rigsby's. Now looking to repeat on that. Barcombs, of course, has other ideas. This is pitcher Joey Trombley. Todd Underwood on deck. First pitch is in there for ball one. Popped up. Bill Glode grabs it. Pick him up, Todd. Pick him up, Todd. Here we go. One out. 
Todd Underwood. Looks at strike one. Popped up. Strike two. So Dikas now on a driver's seat. 0 and 2 on a batter. One out in the bottom of the fifth, 3-1 to score. Game number four in this best of five series. k &L leading in the series, two games to one. Ball two evens the count. Nice shot off Underwood's bat. Dale Cardin on straight up and pulled it down. Two down. We've seen some good ball playing here in this game. Good plays on both clubs. Batter now, Tracy Boris. Fair ball. Boris will settle for one. Well, two out single. We get to the top of the order coming up now. Shortstop, Dale Hawksby. And a pitch from DeCost. Strike one. Hawksby represents the potential tying run. Ball. One and one. Ball two. Two and one. Two outs. On the ground. DeCost knocks it down. It's could be trouble. Throw the first will not be in time. And Barcombs has a potential tying run on base. That's the second time Hawksby's beat out a infield ball. This is this is ball game. Time is out. Steve Southwick gonna pinch run here for Tracy Boris. Jerry Davis in the batter. Basho looking for that little advantage that Southwick's extra speed will give. And scoring run number two. And also avoiding a force out at third. One and one to count. And the pitch. Swung on. Up the middle. Southwick will score. Here's the throw. Cut off. And Bayshore's move pays off. As Southwick comes in. And it's 3-2. Jerry Davison at first. Potential tying run at second. And team manager Bill Bayshore at bat. First offering, hit deep. Danny Phillips pulls it down. After five full innings, it's KNL three, Barcombs two. <laughs> Leading off the sixth <laughs> inning here for KNL, that'll be Gary DeCost. Followed by Bill Glode. And the top of the order. We'll see if Glode will bat. Pete McMillan hasn't been in the game yet. 
down to the sixth inning, only a one-run difference in this ball game. I would not be surprised to see McMillan step in and pinch it for Glowed. Ball. Drove in the middle, it's going to be a couple bases. He's going to try to stretch it to three. Going to be close. Safe. Looks like the ball was a little loose. And Decos glove. Ball came loose. He retained control, but the ball was loose in his glove. It looked like he did not have complete control. And that was the difference. Decos not watching the coaches again. He has that habit of watching the ball. And that may have made the play a close and almost cost the, his team an out. Has that habit of watching the ball instead of watching the man at third who's supposed to have his undivided attention. And, and as expected right here, Pete McMillan is going to bat for Bill Glode. Nobody out. Runner at third. Top of the six. 3-2 the score. k &L leading Barcombs. Game number four. Davison, the first. He gets him on the tag. One out. Batter now, Dennis Phillips. One out. Liner to Yankee. Two down. Mark Holmes fans starting to cheer over here. Randy Davis on the batter. And a pitch from Trombley. Ball one. Strike. Ball two and one. Two two. Ball three, that was off the mat by an inch or so. Randy Davison taking a chance, the count is full, and the payoff pitch. Swings and should be playable. Denny Laporte will grab it. Nothing across in the sixth. A leadoff triple by Dikos, wasted. Dikos at third base with nobody out, and he stayed there. And we have a fired up Bark Holmes TV club coming in here. And we go to the bottom of the six with the score, KNL three, Bark Holmes two. Bark Holmes have some hitters coming up. Danny Laporte, Randy Barcom, Dan Yakey. Pete McMillan stayed in the ball game, and he's behind the plate. Foul ball. Strike one on, on Laporte. Rolls all the way to the fence. Phillips tosses it in. Here we got, here we got now. Jenny, you got your pitch coming still, buddy. Ball. One and one. Much arc, ball two, two and one. Smart out there, 
Randy Davison breaking the wrong way. He broke towards second. The ball was to his right. And Laporte has a single to lead off the sixth inning. The potential tying run at first with nobody out. Randy Barcombe, the batter. Ball one. A bad hop single. A bad hop single for Randy Barcombe. Puts a potential lead run at first. Tying run at second. Nobody out. And Dan Yakey the batter. Looks like it had double play written all over it. And it took a sudden high hop to Davison's right. And Barcom had a base hit. Dan Yakey the batter. Strike one. One and one. Two and one. Jim Wood will grab. Both runners advance. Jim Wood's throw off the mark. Davison had to dive to save it. Had Davison not saved that ball, Laporte probably would have scored on it. Oh, one out. Potential tying run has moved to third. Potential lead run to second. And Jim Barcombe, the batter. Straight one. Phillips will grab. Throw comes to third. The game is tied. We have a 3-3 ball game with two outs in the bottom of the sixth. And a potential lead run at second. Tim Gow at the batter. Whatever else, Barcombs has proven they belong on the field with KNL tonight. After that 21 to 7 route in game number two, I'm sure they had their doubts. And even if KNL goes on a 20 run rampage in the seventh, which is highly unlikely, Barcombs will prove that they belong on the field with them. Jim Wood lost track of the outs is ready to fire the ball oh, Mark Holmes ties the game we're down to a one inning ball game now we're all tied up 3-3 as we go to the seventh as I said earlier KNL is not only playing Barcombs tonight, they're also playing Rigsby's. I am certain they wanted to come in this game and dominate. Come back from that loss last night and dominate. They have not dominated. Barcombs has given them everything that they wanted in this ball game. It's 3-3 and a possibility of game number five. 
is looking very much a possibility. Joey Trombley to Jim Davison. Strike one on the inside of the mat. One and one. KNL has their big hitters up here, their big guns. Davison, Cardin, and La Bombard. Ball. Three and one. Davison walked his last time up. He's the go-ahead run if he gets on. I'm sure he'll take ball four gladly. Base hit. When the chips are down, there's not a better hitter around. Jim Davison. All around, I'd say he's the most respected ball player I've seen. Our guys will hit it over the fence more consistently, but when you need that base hit, Davison will get it for you, and there's another man who will get a pile of them. He'll get his share, Dale Cardan. Runners at first and second. Bill Bayshore yelling to his troops. Keeping him in the ball game, Randy LaBombard, the second baseman with Gary Boris on deck. In tight, ball one. Gallet grabs. Potential lead run goes to third. Better now, Gary Boris. This for early in the game. Dog would have him sacrificing, but I don't think he wanted him to sacrifice here. It's going to turn out to be that way. Jim Davison scores, card in, but barely. Runners always take a chance on something like that. And there are two down. I was taking a chance being that third out and having that third out come before the guy on third scores. This is Jim Wood. We have a four to three ball game. Chopper. Davidson to first. Yankee. Hugged it. Had control. And after six and a half innings, a score, KNL four, Barcombs three. The ball is in Barcombs court. That's their game to win or to lose. It'll be Joey Trombley, Todd Underwood, and Steve Southwick. The bottom of the order for Barcombs. Win or lose, Barcombs has proven a lot tonight. And I think in the long run they may have proven more than KNL had. Ball one. Strike one. Dennis Phillips with the grab. A beautiful shot by Trombley. He was inches, inches away from a leadoff single. Batter now, Todd Underwood. Strike one. Fair ball, Cardan at first. Beautiful throw. 
Cardan well and back a third. Long throw and he got him by a lot. Two outs. So Barcombe's down to their final out. Steve Southwick batting for the first time tonight. He came in to run for, for Tracy Boris. Scored an important run after Boris had singled and moved to second. Top of the order to follow. Dale Hoxby on deck. Pitch to De from DeCoste. Too much arc. Ball one. One and one. Base hit. That's going to be two bases. Wood overruns the ball. It's going to be three bases. Saved. That was almost thrown out of the park. Cardan just barely saved it. And you see Phillips, the left fielder, backing up here. A lot of other teams where a left fielder would not have been there. So with two outs, potential tying run. Steve Southwick at third base. A big factor in KNL's favor is there are two outs. Buck Holmes needs a hit or an error to get Southwick in. Dale Hawksby, the batter, he's reached at least twice that I remember. He's gotten on on infield balls, so he's probably due for a good hit. Flares it to Dale Cardan. That's the way the season's going to end. Tried to go the opposite way. And Cardan grabs it. Well, Bach Holmes loses. But as I said earlier, I think they've proven more tonight than KNL did in this 4 to 3 win. 4 to 3 loss for, for Bach Holmes, 4 to 3 win for KNL. So KNL will take a series and go to the semifinals. They'll take it three games to one. But except for a one game, game number two is uh, other three games were all close. And of course, Bach Holmes won game number three. And now with Bach Holmes getting a final Round of applause from their fans. And Barcombe's out of the picture. And KNL looking ahead to Rigsby's. The question is, do they have their confidence? Was this win enough? I'm sure, as I said a couple of times, they wanted to not only win this game, they wanted to dominate and send a message to Rigsby's.